Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are discussing about RESTful Lab App Programming method. In this video, we are going to talk about actions. Okay, in our uh, previous video, we have discussed about the uh, determinations and uh, how it was working. So this is our applications that we were trying to create in this series. So you can see here there is a overall status, right? So this overall status will get determined automatically based on the list of subtask status. For example, if I change it to the in progress, then the status of the overall status will get changed. So let me reload this. See yeah. In case you have missed that video, you can watch that video by clicking on this like button. All right, let's get started. So, so in this video, we are going to talk about actions. So actions basically it's a which will do a set of logic. We can call it as a non-standard operation. So what is the difference is in standard operations we basically create, update, delete, right? But in the case of uh, actions, uh, we do uh, non-standard things, okay, like uh, changing some fields, modifying some fields, or we call some another BOs from our current uh, uh, behavior definitions, and we call some function modules. We do a lot of processing, uh, so like like that, okay. So here, I'm going to show you a very simple uh, action, okay. With this very simple demo so uh, you could see here there is no button here okay what i'm going to do show is uh, what, what i'm going to show in this video is you you will be having one button make probably like a, or a set as completed so this set as completed uh, button if uh, if we select some uh, instances and select that button the overall status will get updated as a completed okay so you can ask me this could be done easily with the edit option so here you can change it to the completed right and uh, it's a simple update operations correct yeah but uh, what i'm going to do is so if i change the overall status uh, the right approach is changing all the item status substar status as well which means if i change it to the completed all the item subtask sub status should be completed all right here it is a 22 task item so i can easily change the subtask status but what if i'm having more than 100 that is really not possible so that's why we need to have a action here okay hope you clear about this use case uh let's uh get started so i go back to the eclipse so this is my conception view so in this conception view i'm first i'm going to enable the button okay so okay this is our task status right so here i'm going to add the annotation all right so the annotation is simply type it's an action so you use a hash okay type is for action so we should uh, we we are going to create a new action so we should somehow relate this new action name in the behavior definition all right we haven't created any action in behavior definition so far so this is a data action so using this data action we can provide the action name i mean we can link the action name so i can give a name like set completed so this is the name action name we have to use in our behavior definition all right and the label for the action this label will show in the ui okay so set is completed All right, let me activate this. What is the next step is we have to create the action in the behavior definition. So I quickly go back to my uh, behavior definition. So this is our uh, header level uh, task behavior definition. So you can use the syntax action. 
so i name it as a set completed okay semicolon that's it activate this and we have to of course implement in our behavior implementation so just click this quick assist double click on this so it will add the method in the implementation class all right activate this okay so go back to the okay in order okay i have uh, defined the action and implemented in our uh, uh, base behavior definition but uh, in order to expose this outside world when we have to use this in our projection behavior definition so use action set test completed so it came here that's it so no definition no implementation source record here just we are telling the uh, framework saying that use this action in the fury application okay so yeah so it got activated successfully just go back to the ui so there is no button here let me reload this okay yeah you could see here it's a set test completed key okay so it is not enabled okay so you could see uh, it is still uh, in the hidden stage okay so how do how it will get enabled so if you click on some instance see it will get enabled okay this is we call it as a uh, future control which means this future control will be enabled only if uh, some instances has been selected so this will be taken care by the wrap framework okay so if i click i have clicked uh, the set is complete but nothing was happened because i don't have any logic right so i need to uh, implement the right logic in order to change this status all right okay so we have uh, implemented our uh, set completed method so i'm going to write a logic okay so basically what we have to do whatever we have selected our uh, instance we pick that header and item details then we set those uh, uh, status as a completed very simple okay so i am going to first read the okay so once i read it i just update the status to the completed So this we update in our uh, some local internal table okay as the data structure for the update eml is little different then finally i'm going to use the modify eml statement so so easy let's get started So yeah, first I'm trying to read the header details. So entity is a task. So I'm going to simply read all the fields. Okay. So we whatever the instance which was selected, okay, we get it in our keys uh, internal table as a as a importing parameter. Okay. So I'm going to read the first one because I know it's going to be only one record. Okay, that's fine. I update it. Uh, update this uh, results in the internal table. Let's say like header. Likewise, I'm going to read the item 
so here i'm going to read via association so i could choose the same key because uh, it is uh, as we are reading by association we have to provide the task uid not task item uid okay this i have stored in the internal table so first part is done next i am going to update the status to the completed so for this i need a another internal tables okay so i'm going to declare this uh, internal table for the update yaml so okay usually we know that uh, update we cannot do it update and delete we cannot do it by association so i have directly defined this with the help of the task item so i have declared the internal table so i need a structure as well so quickly i will uh, declare those things okay so i have declared the uh, structure for those uh, internal tables so let me quickly update the status to the completed for headers and items Enter. so i will quickly copy the all the all the fields because uh, here we have read all the fields right all the column values will be available so i'm just copying to the we uh, structure which is going to be updated so then i am going to modify the field of status so i am setting is to 3 this is the value for the completed so whenever do we modify some fields then we have to update the corresponding control flag Okay, so it is done. So I append it to the final literal table. So likewise, I will do for the item level. Okay, I have done this. So let me quickly write the modify EML statements. So entity is a task and we are simply updating from entity underscore header update then okay I have written the modify EML statement so what I have done is simply I just update from the entity underscore header update and update from the items update internal table then i capture the field and reported um, so overall what we have done is we first read the selected header and item instances then we modify we set all the status task status and uh, sub task status to the completed then we again call the modify aml statement to update back to the transactional buffer okay let's go back to the ui and quickly test this okay let me reload this so you can see it was not enabled so i click this and click on set as completed you could see that changes has been if we go inside you could see all the subtask status is completed so 
what I do is I just create a new task here. Let's say three with not started. New task created. So go back here. You could see its status is not started. If I reload this, the overall state status become as well not started. Right. So I go back again. I wanted to test the action. So I click again. Just click on the set as completed. Go and say. So you could see the overall status is completed and the new task item we have created it changed it to the completed. So that's it for the action demo. It's a very simple example I have taken. So hope you got a very basic idea about it. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day.